everybody happy saturday to you all snugly in my sweatshirt here and uh getting ready for kicking off my saturday morning i'm pre-recording this video i'm going to be taking off early for the boss and janice to get maximum time in the uh, hot tub for therapeutic reasons as you guys know but i wanted to let's tear into the topic of it now been a week and a half since i was on the THC, the gummies, and mainly the indica variety. And in, until a week and a half ago, I'd never used any marijuana, marijuana derivative, smoked it, uh, anything. It's not that I was against it. I voted for medicinal marijuana and I voted for recreational use marijuana. But it was never part of my repertoire. I was always a person that enjoyed uh, having a beer. A little bit of bourbon, a little bit of moonshine. So that was never part of my repertoire until I got injured. And then everything changed. Everything changed because I had a really catastrophic side injury of uh, terrible muscle tears. My rib muscles off of my ribs and my bones rib bones floating free and grinding inside of my uh, body there and there's a little swelling up with a lot of fluid I did get checked out the uh, kidneys are fine the liver is fine it was just a very traumatic very hard tear and it was very painful and I think the worst part of it was that it was very hard for me to find relief particularly one of the worst and per most pernicious aspects of this injury was the fact that my muscles got stretched out so far uh, and some of them snapped and tore off of my rib cage. I could literally feel my rib cage floating free, a really weird sensation. But when they snapped off, they captured some nerves inside of them. Have you ever had like a pinched nerve and oh, it's so painful to have a pinched nerve. Well, imagine having like 10 pinched nerves, in, you know, all over your side and your back. And every time you shift position, that nerve is firing off and it was causing these terrible contractions that would take what little muscle was left on my ribs and attempt to tear that off every time it contracted. So it was a hellacious week, uh, week and a half. Yeah, I'm on the recovery trail now. I'm about 70%. I got my moments, but... I was so desperate, you know, on day t day three of my injury was Christmas Eve, and it was a really bad day for me, <laughs> really bad day, because I over-medicated myself. I was so desperate to escape the pain that I took uh, baclofen, which is a muscle relaxer, in, a, in an attempt to try to get these muscles to stop contracting, right? They use baclofen for MS and things. It's a muscle relaxing right it helps inhibit those contractions in that pain which is severe because it's it's firing off all those nerves that are trapped it's like 15 pinched nerves all at one time hitting it and i was also taking like a heavy dose of tylenol and i think i popped some uh, oxycodone. I had some left from surgery that I never even took after all my surgeries. I never felt the need for it. I know I'm tough as nails. And I ended up vomiting, which did even more damage. Four hours, five hours of throwing up with all the heaving in the chest. I was going backwards at the speed of light. Next day, I went over to the boss and Janet's house, my friend's house, and the boss suggested, why don't you maybe try a gummy and by that point I'm like yeah maybe try a gummy and I got the gummy and I felt kind of I felt kind of edgy I feel like I kind of got the edge took taken off of me I felt like my function kind of slowed down a little bit my cog my cognition my faculties were kind of edged a little bit but I felt pretty good but I noticed over the course of that wonderful Christmas day that those terrible muscle contractions had stopped. And if for no other reason, I said, yeah, I'm going to go up to the dispensary. And I went with my uh, friend and I picked up some um, gummies and I got different kinds and uh, multiples. And I think they ended up being about a buck fifty. When you put tax in, they're about a buck fifty for 10 milligrams of the joy juice in it. 
uh, and I stuck to the indica, and that really helped me hasten my recovery because now I could sleep at night without the slightest little movement triggering off some, off a massive pinched nerve attack, which is that which is that pain that you just can hardly take it anymore. And I finally wound down to yesterday. I'm about seventy percent of the way recovered. And yesterday morning until now, I'm, pre I'm pre-recording this on Friday afternoon. Until now, I've not found the need to take another uh, gummy. And I still have maybe 15, 20 of them left after two, two trips to the uh, store. So they were fantastic. Do I feel like they provided a recreational boost to me? I don't think so because... You know, I was so focused on the pain that this is exactly what they focused on. There was no room for getting high, okay? There was no there was no topside room for this will make me nice and high now and I'll enjoy life. Uh, it probably helped me sleep a little better at um, at night. But they were tremendous in terms of curbing those spasms that were just so debilitating. Uh, it caused me to over-medicate and to do more damage. So now, uh, I think the damage was done on like the 22nd or something like that in December. And now it's like the 8th, 7th or 8th of, of uh, January. So it's getting on about uh, over, I think, two weeks now, but the recovery is good. So I really would highly recommend if you're having like a short-term need or you have something where you're having that type of pain, I didn't see any apparent downside to the uh, gummies. I didn't feel predisposed to increase the dose. I wasn't tempted to get high or anything like that. I only really cared about the medicinal aspects of that, and that worked beautifully for me. So consider this a testament to the benefits of the uh, THC and the gummies. They worked fantastic for me. Well, let me know your experience if you've had them with gummies, whether you use them to uh, get your high. Some people don't like to smoke. I get that. I'm not a smoker. Uh, I haven't had any smoke since May 28th. Quit smoking cigarettes. I haven't had any, no inclination to uh, do that. So I hardly feel like picking up uh, and inhaling uh, marijuana. It's not going to be my thing. But I'll tell you what, if I had that situation again, I would grab for those gummies in a heartbeat, okay? That's what medicinal marijuana did for me. Let me hear your comments down below how it's helped or how it's hurt in your life. And as usual, your thumbs up are very appreciated. And thanks for stopping by this morning. And if you're not subbed up, sub up. Always adventures, always something going on every day. And hit that bell for all notifications of all activities. Thanks, everybody.